Hey guys, what's up? I'm trying to get my camera. Hi, hey y'all. Um, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, a welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, to all returning subscribers, thank you so much for the continued support. Thank you so much for coming back to see little old me and see what I got to talk about, what's going on, what's good. Um, I hope all of you guys, hold on, um, I hope that all of you guys are doing well in this quarantine. We're into it like maybe what a month. Um, yeah, over a month now, shoot, like a month and two weeks. Um, I hope that all of you guys are in good health. I hope you guys are staying healthy. I hope your families are safe and healthy. Um, keep your immune systems up. Drink your, your um, lemon. Get you some lemons, oranges, cucumbers. Make you some of this kind of water. This is really good for vitamin C. Um, take your vitamins. Get some elderberry syrup. Eat oranges. Drink orange juice. Every morning, get you a cup of orange juice. You know, let's keep these immune systems up. Don't forget to go outside and do some walking. Do something. Get some vitamin D. Make sure that your skin is hitting that sun. Um, even if you have to stop on the patio, just get outside. You know, keep your social distancing. Hopefully, this is going to be over um, within the next few months, I'm hoping, because this is wild. This is really crazy. Who would have thought that, you know, we would be living in these times? Like, it's, it's just crazy, but... Anyway, um, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I promise you won't be disappointed. So today, I'm actually gonna, and I've been meaning to do a video about this. I just haven't had the time, you know, like I said on my other videos. I'm in school right now, and I am having, for the past two semesters, I've taken biology, which I almost did not survive, and I'm taking math, which is another situation. So I'm just, I'm just trying to pass it. I'm just... I don't get a D. I don't get it. I don't care. Um, because before we were going on campus, because I need to be in a classroom setting for this. Typically, I could take my classes online and be just fine and have no issues. But since quarantine happened, we are now taking the math class online. So I'm having more difficulty. You know, I'm now working at home. I'm homeschooling my toddler, making sure that my, my daughter's staying up on her schoolwork, helping her with college stuff. And you know, just my husband's an essential worker. He going out every day. So I'm just, by the time I get off work and by the time my end of my day comes, I'm just exhausted. So I don't really have the mental capacity to like want to go study statistics. So I'm just, I'm just, just trying to scan and skim through it. I'm just trying to just pass at this point. I'll take a D. I, I don't care. D is still credit. I don't care. I'm not even trying to be nobody's overachiever at this point. Um, so that's been going on. So I'm really um, excited that class is going to be ending within the next few weeks because I really want to start giving more focus to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited um, to be here. I'm so excited that you guys want to see what I have to say. You guys are so supportive and so sweet. I love you guys. Y'all are just the bestest. Um, I got some new subscribers. Welcome y'all. Like I'm just, I'm so, just so grateful. I haven't really been able to do like discussion videos like I've been wanting to because you know you have to kind of be in the mindset you kind of have to have that motivation because how you are on camera is how the person's gonna receive you and I don't want y'all see me when I'm like I'm tired and oh, I'm stressed and I'm you know just oh it's just math and oh my god work and meeting quota and helping it like I don't want y'all seeing me in that space because you know that's gonna tell my mood and when when y'all get my videos I want to give you guys the best of me so I set aside some time I told my husband get AJ told Jordan go do her lock diesel in the cage so y'all not gonna see him barging in here so you have all of me right now so I want to do a video and this is probably one to do for a while um did I say like comment share subscribe please do if I did didn't already say that already um <laughs> so I wanted to do a discussion video about how to make friends in your adulthood how to make friends in your 20s and 30s how do you make friends because I see a lot of people like I tell you guys all the time that I'm an introvert extrovert introvert or extrovert like there's a test that you can go online and I'll see if I can look it up and post the link but I had to take it when I took psychology but they ask it's like a personality test so I found out that I am an introvert with, with extrovert tendencies 
meaning I kind of am more on the introverted level, but I can be extroverted if necessary. And I think that's just a Scorpio trait because a lot of us don't really deal with a lot of people, but when we need to mingle, we need to socialize, we need to like, you know what I'm saying, give the gift of gab, we need to um, negotiate and, you know, whatever, we can do it. But um, yeah, so with that said, I have had people comment on my videos and be like, oh my God, I'm an introvert too. Oh my God, like I feel you girl, like oh my God. So I was thinking about it and I was just like, I feel like there's so many of us. There's so many of us out there who don't have a clique of friends, a crew of friends. Like how do you meet people? You know, you sitting in the house on the weekends, you don't have nowhere to go, or in this case, nobody to Zoom happy hour, virtual happy hour with. Um, how do you meet friends? How do you meet people? Um, hold on. Rock Legion. I should have did this before I started this video, but hey, freestyle. Um, all right. How do you meet friends? How do you meet people? How do you build a friendship? How do you, you know, a lot of us at this age are kind of set upset because we've been either disappointed, we've been hurt, you know, we've given and then got mistreated or got used, got abused, got neglected. So we shut down, you know, the natural reaction is to shut down. I don't want to deal with anybody. I don't want to open up. I don't want to, you know, get hurt again. I don't want to be disappointed again. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And it's fully understandable. But with that said, we're left and we're lonely. You know, we're not getting these fulfilling relationships that we know that we're deserving of because we're good people. And we know that they're, we deserve this love in return, but we're not getting it. So let's analyze why are we attracting these kind of people? And what can we do to fix us? And how can we go forward in order to meet new people and attract new people and build new relate build new healthy relationships so let's get started so for me I've always been kind of I've always been the kind of person that if I like you I like you don't care how you look don't care your background don't care what you have going on I don't care like if I like you I like you you know I I rock with you period um I've always been the victim of bullying I guess um, I didn't grow up with siblings I didn't grow up with a lot with cousins around I kind of just grew up solo so I was that kid who always walked through life looking for love looking for acceptance looking to belong somewhere looking to fit in so I never fit in with the but at the same time I never wanted to do what it took to be in the clicks I never wanted to do the work to fit in I kind of was just like well let the chips fall where they may you know you can't fit a circle peg into a square hole so I just never clicked with a lot of people like that in clickish situations like I've tried it it never worked for me I always felt like a black sheep or an outsider so it ultimately didn't work for me in the end anyway so I never was able to fit in with groups like that so I've always had a problem finding friends um meeting friends like i mean i mean now that i'm old enough and i in, in retrospect i can say that i haven't always been the best friend i've been kind of a bitch um but that was coming from a place of hurt that was coming from a place of neglect that was coming from a place of you know probably in a sense jealousy um which i'm able to admit you know i because I didn't have my mother, I didn't have siblings, I always felt jealous of girls who I saw that had close relationships with their mothers. Um, I was always jealous of girls who I felt, you know, had more or more love, more support, um, siblings, whatever. I just didn't have that. So I was always looking to fill voids. Like that's something that I learned in psychology, so I'm able to like understand it and detect it now. So when I moved to Texas, I knew one girl. My cousins lived here and we knew each other, but we weren't ultimately like that. But um, 
I knew one girl here, we had known each other since about we were 16. And when I moved out here, I thought she and I were gonna be tight, but she kind of had her own life going on. So I couldn't really depend on her or rely on her to be like just my friend because she had her own life, which now I can see and understand. Um, but the way I met people when I moved to Texas, because I know a lot of people have said this in my comments, they say, you know, I'm not gonna know anybody, I'm not gonna meet anybody. Yeah, First of all, you have to understand, meeting people is not easy. Meeting people who you click with is even more difficult. So you have to kind of evaluate what is, I think friendships are just like relationships. You have to grow them, you have to nurture them, you have to take care of them, you have to do all the things that you would do in a regular relationship. Relationships are, friendships are just that. Friendship relations, they're relationships. Relationships, whether it's a boo, whether it's with a mom, whether it's a friend, it's a relationship. And a relationship takes work from both parties. So to me, when I moved here, I joined this Yahoo group called Sisters with Connections. And it was a group with like a hundred women. So they would do happy hours, they would do stuff like that. And even like I said, I think I saw all my other videos. I'm cool with a lot of them still to this day. They're on my Facebook. Um, I'm, I'm still cordial with a lot of them. So that's really awesome. It's been like 12 years. So I, a lot of them have seen me grow up. They've seen my daughter grow up. So it's been really neat. Um, so I met somebody, I met a lot of women like that. I didn't become besties with any of them, you know, long term. So in that case, it didn't work out, but you just wanna meet people, right? So there's meetup.com where you can look up like your favorite things like mommy and me groups, um, black singles, um, movie lovers, bike lovers, chihuahua lovers. Like you can go in these groups. And let me tell you, I did a couple of meetup groups and it is so awkward. Like you're so like, ugh. But you have to understand that this is necessary in order to meet people. So one time I went to, so that's meetup, look. Cross hours ago. So that's meetup.com. So go on meetup.com, join groups, and just show up. Like if it don't work, it don't work. It, you didn't lose nothing. You might meet some people, you might not. I look at it like, shoot, let me get some numbers. Like <laughs> that's just what it is. Let's join, let me, let's be face with friends. Like I joined this one meetup group. <clears throat> I think it was, was it Black Sisters of Collin County? I don't remember the name, but I met a group of girls and I'm still cordial with most of them today. Um, we used to hang out, do happy hours, go to the movies, you know, whatever. A lot of these people get together, they meet each other, like they start traveling together, they start doing stuff together. And that's really cool. Like you don't never know who you can meet and how you can meet them and what could become of the relationship. You have to give the effort. You have to be open to getting di disappointed. You have to be open to getting rejected. Like you may not click. Exactly. And the thing is, is people, people are weird these days. Like, I'm gonna just be honest, they weird. So you may not get the results that you're looking for, but you have to be able to say, okay, it's not, it didn't work out. Like, one thing about me is I know how to let go. So if it doesn't work, I'm okay with it not working out. Like, I know how to let it be and let it go and move on. Like, it is what it is. Like, once you get over that disappointment, you're just like, okay, whatever, you know, move on. But join Meetup, Meetup groups help a lot. Um, Facebook groups, like I joined a cooking group. I'm in like um, a memes group. <sighs> I'm in a Netflix and Hulu group. Like there's so many groups. So join a lot of those groups. You can meet a lot of people like that. I see people all the time saying, hey, who's in the California, LA area? Who's in, you know, San Diego area? Who's in Miami area? Who's in, you know, Louisiana area? Like you have people who do that all the time and then you have people who can link up like that. And then they introduce you to their friends, they introduce you to their friends. So you can grow like that. It's, it's about networking. And that's what I be telling people. Like everything is network now. Like it's not the same situation as when we were young and we were in high school. So you kind of were in class with people. So it was available to you. Like you have to now work to meet people. So that's another way joining a Facebook, a Facebook group. Work, 
you can meet people at your job. The only thing about with meeting people at your job and hanging out with them is you're letting them into your life, so you're letting them into your personal business. So you have to be mindful if this is something that will work for you, if this is a good look for you. That's why I'm telling you there's these other options because if you're not into making friends at work, that's perfectly okay. You do not have to. There are other options, but work is a great place to meet people. So don't knock it. Just tread on thin ice with that one. Proceed with caution, but you are able to meet a lot of people at your job. Um, church. I mean, there's a lot of people at church. So meet people, do the, I don't know, do they have after hour, you know, how they have the potluck and stuff like that? Have the after hour potluck. I mean, the after church, you know, dinner. They have like uh, groups that, you know, get together and women's groups and, you know, stuff like that. So church to me is a great way to meet, to meet people as well. So consider that as an option. Um, happy hour group, go to happy hour. You go to, you know, different now. This is for you extroverts. I can't do this. This is different from me. I can't go to a happy hour and be like, hey, hey, hi, how are you? My name is Carlotta. Hi, how are you? Like, hey, what are you drinking on? That looks so good. Actually, I will say that. But that might be as far as you get out of me. Like, I won't be like, hey, you know. So one time I met this girl, really talk that much anymore. No real reason. She just moved to Houston. And I went to, this is back when I used to go to church. So there was this singles thing where, you know, you go to singles game night. That's what it was called. And I was leaving because I saw every guy there was, first of all, I'm not going to hear a sermon. I'm going to play games. So there was a sermon. So I was already irritated at that. And then afterward, they was like, okay, there's like backgammon, checkers, connect four. I don't know if they had twister. That might've been too provocative, but it was some games or whatever, connect four. And like, there was one guy at each like thing. And then there were like five women on each guy like type of thing and I was like oh god let me get up out of here so as I was leaving the girl was like hey what did you think of that and I was like it was whack and I will never ever come back you know and she was like well I thought the same thing and you know it was just weird how I noticed like all the women were on one guy and so we saw the same thing and so we actually started talking we got cool we exchanged numbers we hung out you know some a few times and you know so she was real cool and so I met somebody like that I've met people now, I've met people on Facebook groups. I've met people from the meetup groups. I've met people from work. I've met people through people. I've met people just at a store. Like I'm able to meet people any kind of way. Um, even with being introverted, you have to be able to be able to talk. You have to be able to say, hi, hi. Oh, my name is Carlotta. Yeah, oh my gosh, girl, you have the cutest dress. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, for real? Yeah, girl, I love enchiladas too. Girl, I love tacos. Yeah, okay. Oh, you got Instagram? Girl, let's, 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 let's um, exchange each other's Instagram. What's your snap? Okay, what's your Facebook? Oh my, no, Facebook's kind of personal, you know, that could come later, but just you just have to just say hey hi oh my gosh like yes it gets exhausting yes it's annoying yes you'd be like i don't want to talk today but you friends are not gonna come knocking on your door and you might break up with a few of them you might lose a few of them you might end a few of the friendships like it is what it is but guess what you will have some that will stick like the friends that i have now they know how I am. They know that they ain't gonna hear from me. They know that if you wanna talk to me, you got better luck DMing me or texting me. You got better luck that way because I'm not gonna just sit on the phone. Now, if they know there's something that's, you know, really big, they can call me and be like, hey girl, I need a happy hour and I'll make the time because at that point they're letting, it's keywords, you got, you know what I'm saying? Girl, I need, let's meet up for a happy hour. Girl, I got some stuff going on. I need to talk about, I need to vent. I need to get this on my chest. Okay, boo -boo, let me look at my calendar. Let me look at my calendar. Okay, I could do it this day. So my friends now are cool because they know who I am. They know how I am. They know how to deal with me. They know, how, I know how to deal with them. Like you just have to find people that will love you and accept you for who you are. It's gonna take some time. I just feel water on my shirt and my pants. It's gonna take time. Um, 
it is difficult though, especially when you're in your like your late 20s, early 30s, because most people, I, I know a lot of people from my high school who are still like that. I'm not tight with anybody that I went to high school with. I did not go to college, so I wasn't able to meet those people on that level. Um, so I wasn't able to build those early lasting relationships. My best friend and I met at a park. We literally met at a park. We were both pushing our kids on the swings and same situation, she's introverted and I am too. So I don't know how we were pushing our kids. And she was like, oh my God, your baby is so cute with her little bald head, how old is she? I said, she's one. And I said, how old is she? She was like, oh, she's three. And we was like, oh yeah, I was like, where do you stay at? She was like, oh, I stay off of Woo Doo Woo. She was like, where do you stay? I said, oh, I stay in Hawthorne. You know, so we just was talking the whole time. <clears throat> and then we left. I was like, girl, we should stay in touch. You seem really cool or whatever. She was like, okay. So we exchanged numbers. So literally that happened almost, almost 18 years ago. God damn. Um, yeah, that's crazy. So we ended up meeting like that. So it wasn't like we'd known each other all our lives. Like we literally met at a park. She was 20 and I was 22. So we literally met on a pretense like that. So you have to be open to all possibilities. You have to be open to meeting people through people. You have to be open that it may not work out. You have to be open, like you just have to keep trying. And eventually you will meet and find people who are equally yoked. You will find people who are like you. You are. You will meet people who share the same interests as you. And then you might meet some people who are a little different than you, but then that would, that's what makes the friendship good because you're different. You don't want everybody being identical to you because then it'll get boring like it'll be nothing that's you know what's what's fresh you know so I try to be open to meeting different people I try to be open that everyone does not think like me everyone is not like me and I promise you since I've had that mentality I've attracted people like I don't even be looking to meet people and I end up meeting people because I have the expectation now like Everybody is different and it's okay. It's okay that you may not agree with what I say. It's okay that we may not have the same, let me tell you, we're fighting the hiccups right now. The hiccups wants to come. They wanna come so bad and I keep swallowing the hiccup. So if y'all hear that, that's what's going on. <laughs> Cause I'm talking nonstop. Um, but you, there's so many different ways you can meet people. Like I said, I gave y'all some different options. Um, but if you move to a new city and a new state, you have to be open-minded. And of course you're not gonna go to, go to a happy hour the first weekend that you get to where you are. You gotta situate yourself, you gotta settle in get you know get in order or whatever and then once that happens then you will start to meet people it will just come to you like don't even try to like do the, just relax just relax and know your worth know who you are and know that you deserve the very best and those relationships will, will find their way to you um you have to ensure that you are good with yourself um be good with who you are because just as you're, you're wanting to attract good people to you you want to make sure that you're attracting good to them as well because don't go into looking for friends to mooch off of or lean on or you know be codependent on or whatever because that means that you're not whole within yourself and then that relationship isn't gonna work so you have to ensure that you are good and then that way you attracting good people to you because if not you're gonna be chasing your tail chasing yourself and you don't want to just keep having like I have had a lot of people I've met here that I not fell out with but fell off with um but I had to realize like we just weren't equally yoked and that's okay that's okay like it's okay don't wish anybody any ill will you know wish people the best move on with your life keep it moving but just know that they were not good to be in your life and that's okay some people are only there for a season some people might be there just for you to meet them and hang out with them a few times just so you can have something to do and after that you know it may not work out and, and that's okay everybody ain't gonna be a lifetime friend everybody's not gonna be there to the end like some people are just there for a season a reason for a season so you have to be open-minded to all the possibilities but don't invest yourself until you feel safe don't invest yourself until you feel open and feel like you can share yourself with other people and you feel safe doing so so yeah um it's just really hard because at this age in these times people are just so weird so you have to be open and you just have to know that it may or may not work out the same way you're doing with dating 
if you if you're single you're dating same scenario so be open like i know there's a lot of travel groups with women who travel because they don't have anyone else to travel with so i'll be like dang that's that's dope you know i personally don't because i have i'm very funny about who i travel with but there are people who be like, let's go, you know, let's go hang out, let's go kick it or whatever. But I feel like when people leave their zip code, they show their ass. So I don't even want to deal with that. Um, so I travel with only very few people, very select, special individuals. So I feel like you have to be open to whatever. And you have to be willing to give your time the effort or let them know, like, I'm not a phone person. So we're not about to be sitting here talking to phone. You know, I'm more of a talking in person. I'm more of a talking catch up when I see you. Or, hey, I'm more of a texter girl. Just text me when you can. Well, I'm not really a texter. Okay, well, then I'll just see you, you know, whenever we hang out. Like, you have to kind of set your boundaries and be upfront with who you want to be. You have to be upfront with how you get down. Like, be open. Be honest. Let them know, like, I'm not really like that. You know, that doesn't, that's not really my thing. But let's find a, a happy medium. Okay. Sorry, guys. But yeah, if you meet a person who is not really a phone person and you are a phone person, you guys have to have a happy medium of like, okay, let's just text, you know, or let's just, you know, let's talk for a few minutes. Like you just have to find people that are willing to like work with you and you would be willing to work with them. That's just what a friendship is. Now I'm all about having healthy relationships. Okay. I'm not about you get, making friends who need money all the time who always got problems with a man, who are in abusive relationships and they only call you when they need help. Like, no, you want to attract healthy relationships. So in order to do that, you have to make sure that you are good. You have to make sure that you are cool with them because attra like attracts like. So if you're messed up inside, you're gonna attract that. Um, I have the tendency, I always, I had, and I've worked on this. I have truly worked on this with therapy and self-help books. I had the tendency, and even I still kind of have it now, which is why I have my YouTube channel because this is my way of giving. I always had a helper's complex. I always wanted to take care and help people and bring them up and build them up. And you know, in, in doing that, they drained me. They you know, drained me of my resources. They used me, they, you know, mistreated me. They, you know, got everything, the resources they could out of me and then left me hanging. So I've had, like, I've always had people who I would let live with me and stay with me because, you know, they didn't have nowhere to go or they, you know, fell on hard times. And because I was homeless, I was, I understood what that meant and I knew how it was. So I was like, okay, you can stay with me. Let me help you. Let me get you back on your feet. Like you can come here because I was that person. So in my mind, I'm like, oh, they're gonna take advantage of the situation. They're totally gonna get it together because they had someone who was trying to help them, right? Wrong. You know, you have you have to be mindful of those leeches. You have to be mindful of those people who want to use you. You have to be mindful of the people that want to take advantage of your kindness. So that's something that I had to learn and I had to work on me and wonder why, why am I like this? Why do I need to feel the need to help people like when they don't appreciate me, you know? So this is my way of doing it. Like when you guys DM me and you guys ask me questions and you know, you talk to me like that is my, feeding my soul in order to like help because I love to, to help people and give because I'm so resourceful and I've been through so much. So I know that people will benefit off of the information that I know and I have. But as of now, I ain't letting nobody live with me. I don't really loan money. I don't really go out my way like that because I have done it so much to where I have now learned how to set healthy boundaries and I know how to say, no, I can't. I don't have it, I'm not available. I know how now to set those healthy boundaries. So that, so me doing my YouTube is my healthy boundary. So you have to just know how to set those. And believe me, people will test you, people will try you, they will try to play you, they'll try to use you, they'll try to get over because that's just human nature. And you know, people tend to take advantage of the kind souls. So you have to know how to set healthy boundaries from day one. And that's something that you have to do when you set, when you start bonding with people and hanging out with people and learning people as you do that. Oh, okay, that's how, oh, okay, well, let me, well, girl, I don't even be loaning money like that mm -mm. girl I don't play that mm. I don't be having it like that girl I be struggling like you gotta just oh girl girl you let somebody live with you girl I can't even do that I need my space mm -mm. that don't work for me like you have to really 
explain and kind of like throw it out there before it even gets tested. Oh girl, dang, he dang he did that to you? Dang girl, I don't be really giving advice on relationships like that because you know, I ain't really married so I don't really be knowing how to handle all that. But girl, you got that, you know what I'm saying? You gotta go online and get some advice. I, I know that, you know, you gotta, you, you'll figure that out. You know, like you have to just kind of like set that up because if you don't, people will just use you and take, 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 and then you won't have anything left for you. So you have to make sure that you set those healthy boundaries and be mindful when people come to you with their problems all the time and they only calling you when they got problems, that's a, a red flag. You only want to have people around who are going to help nurture you. You nurture them, take care of them. They take care of you. You love them. They love you. You only want to have healthy relationships. So if you are in situations right now where the people around you are not giving you healthy love, you need to definitely reevaluate who you're friends with. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video because I know it's long. So please like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, please drop them below. I'm always available. Please DM, DM me at Love Some Lotta on Instagram. Please follow me on Instagram. I'm not really active on my Twitter as I should be because it's just the constant finger, you know, carpet tunnel, you know what I'm saying, that I kind of be like, I don't know about. But yeah, I'm always available on um, Instagram. And something I want to get into, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do it, but I kind of want to get into like life coaching. So I'm going to start, you know, pondering and thinking and, and um, about what to do about all that um, once I finish my class and once I get situated and all of that other stuff. So that is coming soon. I am speaking it into existence. I am putting it out there. But if you have any questions, please let me know and I will talk to you guys on the next video. Mwah.